Well, hello, my buddies at Netflix. So, producers, people, staff, I want to give you a little message. I hear that you're spending a billion dollars on advertising. So, because I love Netflix, and I don't want you to waste that money, I'm going to give you some ideas that are written down. Amazing, revolutionary ideas that perhaps are happening already. Um, but also moving away from the common sense of advertising. As you know, as a society, we are evolving, we're transforming, especially because of the internet and the ability of creating emotional cohesion with the internet tools that are being given to us. So I'm utilizing those tools primarily. So first and foremost, we want to have memes with the same font as Netflix for cohesion. So when you have a meme about House of Cards, of course, you have the logo of House of Cards and the name has House of Cards. But if you're going to have a font or if you're going to have a quote, then you have the same exact character that you would have on Netflix. That way, cohesively builds in with Frankie, Grace and Frankie. You have whatever it is that they say in that particular font. That way it lets us know that comes from Netflix, therefore creating that bond situation. So all memes need to be in the font of Netflix, right? I think that that's possible, that's feasible. Then we want to have show fan interactions. You know, there's various different websites where you donate and you increase your chances of being on a walk-on, you know, or having a role or getting a t-shirt and, you know, maybe whatnot. Those kind of things really, I, I, I have a cup from Yoplait. <laughs> And trust me, they bought me. Well, they bought me also when they went, you know, for uh, sugar, uh, natural sugar, not uh, high fructose. But also when they sent me that cup, they really bought me. So those kind of things, I think, really pull the fans in together. Then characters on, this one's a big one, characters on Netflix show up in the real world as a punked moment. And talk to Ashton Kutcher because I mean, he's a genius on that. So you have Frank Underwood getting coffee and, you know, having a conversation with Claire, like right there. Or maybe they're having an argument right in front of Pete's Coffee, you know, in Los Angeles. And you're like, what? <laughs> and people start filming it and put it on the Internet and it just becomes this viral thing. Or have, you know, uh, the cast from 13... Uh, uh, reasons why and then you know you have her show up she tried to pay for her sandwich with a box of tapes you know those kind of weird situations and uh, so I recommend it people will film it it's free advertising well of course you have to pay your stars to do this but I think that it would be a fun little thing to get people rally behind it also pick up a fan for a onset experience, I think that a lot of people are wondering, well, how does Netflix do a whole show about your Netflix shows? You know, about episode, you know, episode one, House of Cards. How do we film it? Da 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 da, you know, stuff like that. And then episode two, you know, you have Frank and Grace and Frankie, and how do we film it? And how do the jokes are written? And all that other stuff. I think that'd be great. So, and then have a fan be involved, have a couple of fans come in and see the excitement and how that's going on, particularly film students. I think that would be great. Uh, contest for a mascot. You need a mascot, Netflix. Let's be real. You know, in a world where we're trying to rally happiness and joy and entertainment and, and I think having the font with the thing, it's a little cold. It's, you know, the font is very jagged. It's, it's nice. I like it. But we need a mascot to soften it up. So a contest for a mascot, that's what I say. Then we go into Netflix and chill. Now you can make this as a show, but of course Netflix and chill has become such a common staple in society that you need to capitalize it and make a show. What do you do? What you do is you pick couples that are in dire need of a vacation and you send them to a cold place. Where, of course, there is he, you send them to like Iceland, but of course, it's in a hotel and it's beautiful and it's nice and whatnot. <laughs> you know, so, so it's, they're chilling, they're having fun, and their kids are being taken care of by family members. And when they come back, there's a whole surprise. I don't know, maybe you build my house, you have a billion dollars, but, or maybe you take them on another vacation, you know, I don't know. You know, so that kind of thing, that kind of joy for society, I think that would really help you, Netflix. Netflix, you make amazing, amazing products. The problem is you have a lot of content, a lot of content, and it's very difficult for people to create that emotional connection to things that they've never seen before. And so you, in order, and also you have, I mean, let's <laughs> binge watching is a thing that Netflix really kind of, I presume, banks on because you know once you binge watch, you finish the whole season, and then 
So I think that building that emotional connection in between and being like, oh, that's good. I didn't see the House of Cards after the season three. I'm going to go back. Man, I know what that was funny. You at the peak yelling at Claire and Claire yelling at you and throwing the coffee. Ah, you know, that kind of thing. And then people will go back and watch those shows. Uh, I want to wish you all a wonderful, wonderful year. If you want to send me some money for my ideas or if you want to hire me, more than happy to come on board and give you more ideas on shows and what you should pick up. Mega Man the Cartoon, I hope someone's looking into that. I think they are, but various different things coming your way. Thank you, Netflix, and I want to wish you all a wonderful, wonderful year. And I, lastly, I want to add that I really do appreciate that Netflix has various different languages, and um, you can watch it in various different countries, and that's really powerful, and that's really awesome, and I think that's really going to grow, and with these particular elements, I think the inclusion, moving away from print media, and moving into the internet, and the emotional connection will really help Netflix. Take care. I wish you a wonderful year.